So why hike Kilimanjaro? Um, that's a great question. And I think everyone that thinks about it should ask that to themselves and have an honest, uh, really honest answer to why, why for them to hike Kilimanjaro. But for me, uh, I have to rewind the clock 20 years ago, maybe even a little longer than that. Uh, 20 years ago, Ben, AKA Pappy or Chino's, he, uh, we were living together in my condo at the time uh, before I was married and there was a picture of Kilimanjaro on the refrigerator and so he said he's like hey Mark we have to climb Kilimanjaro before we turn uh, 50 and I said okay sure it seemed unreasonable at the time and uh, you know I figured he'd probably forget about it at some point in the future but we hadn't revisited it in more than, I don't know, 15 years or so. We joked around about it for a little while. I remember that walking into the kitchen and seeing that picture on the fridge. I was like, man, one day we're gonna climb that mountain. How crazy of a thought that would be. And then we, uh, Pappy brought it up and it was about a little over a year, a year and a half ago when he first brought it up. And he's like, man, he's like, we're getting closer to 50. We need, to, we need to start thinking about climbing Kilimanjaro. And I'm like, oh man, I'm like, yep, you're right, we do. If, we're, if we said we were gonna do this before 50, you know, and I said that, then, then that's what we're gonna do. And so for me, that was, the, that was the why. That's what started the ball rolling. All right, we're here and uh, heading to the airport for Detroit. And then we're gonna be switching over from Detroit to Amsterdam to see the whole flight. So it's exciting. Uh, we're gonna go get grab a bite to eat. Just allow myself to there you go, Marco. see God move. But that isn't the, like the whole essence of why. And really the why for, uh, the other parts of the why for Kilimanjaro is, man, to just to do hard things, to push yourself in new ways and to put yourself in a difficult situation. to go for it. I wanted to see and do something that was harder than me, that I had to push me myself to the edge and then step past that edge. are packed Pappy's in the bathroom and uh, he's trying to relieve himself before we go uh, we got all of our gear checked out by our guides Abraham and Oscar and everything's approved he said my sleeping bag is a little bit light so I had to promise him that I won't be cold so that's gonna be the uh, the deal I'm, I'm not allowed to be cold so I'm storing up as much Sun in this 95 degree heat before we go um, there's Pappy's big bag, his boots, other bag. We're gonna leave, leave, we're gonna leave this blue bag here. And there's my two bags that I'm gonna be hiking up with. And last of all, got some boots. Got some boots there. And 
we're ready to go. As soon as he gets out of the bathroom, we're, uh, they're gonna be ready to meet us up front. And we've got a two hour drive to the Lamosho gate.